What will designers be doing in 2029, 10 years from today? I think that the designer role will shift a lot from an uh, individual contributor and from a maker um, to a facilitator. Well, I hope we'll be mastering design systems much better than we are doing right now, and that we'll be able to focus on uh, interaction and flows more than on visual design. It's more about focusing on communication and dealing with stakeholders than actually doing uh, design tasks on sketch. So I believe it'll be more collaborative. So I think that uh, designers uh, 10 years from now, uh, I think that we are going to have a huge contribution in designing government institutions and uh, creating new ways of uh, staying in democracy and uh, designing ways, new ways for people to interact and decide faster and uh, in a much more agile way of um, the future of countries and uh, government institutions. I think designers will be working a lot with emotion and how machines would relate with humans with that emotions. So brain-computer interfaces, that's what I want. Um, I really suck at really you know, doing visual stuff, but, but I see things in my head. I would like some machine to actually be able to produce it. And uh, maybe you can also use that to tap into the, the vision of your clients and to understand what they're really paying and their needs are. And so I believe there's something there in the future. Um, like you said, we're, we're going to work with machines on emotion. Maybe we're going to do pair design with, uh, with machines. Uh, I guess our relationship with machines probably increase, increase more and we'll be able to complement each other. Uh, I think we'll definitely, like someone said, design robot faces that seem human, I think. Uh, and I also think we'll work way more with augmented reality and designing augmented interfaces, which is something that is being explored right now, but I think it'll be something that will definitely be present in the future. I think designers will be the new philosophers, as in providing uh, new ways of thinking and uh, for actually everyone to, um, well, new ways of interacting, well, for people to... I think that um, if we look at the history of what we've been doing, and it's really recent that uh, we are designing for, for the web and for digital projects, um, we passed from doing static websites to doing responsive websites to not thinking about the browser, to think about fluid stuff, to thinking about how different uh, um, products interact with different devices. And, and probably what I think is uh, true is that uh, these devices that we are using today are not going to exist for much longer. And in the future, everything will be connected. And if we think about uh, um, uh, virtual reality or augmented reality, mm -hmm. uh, then the, the, there's going to be a big shift in the paradigm. And I think you're going to design much smaller stuff, but it's much more complex because everything is interconnected. I think we'll be designing things without interfaces. If I'm here and I, I have a, a chip on my body and I can see more stuff and do more stuff, what will I be able to do next? So mm -hmm. I think designers will empower humans and machines to do more with what they have. I think designers will be vision makers of the future for real things and also for these alternative realities that uh, where we're living. And I think they are all also going to be the ones that will design all the things that will be in the middle of the humans and that will communicate between us. I also think that designers will be striving to work on much more meaningful things and less and much more concerned about privacy. Uh, much more concerned about ethics, about accessibility, usability, universal design, and doing something for 
uh, the greater good. Um, and that might also uh, come from within and working for governments and things that affect everyone in uh, a nation and worldwide. I think that the, um, they would be, will be working much closer <clears throat> to the medium and working with the actual material that will create the experience. So, uh, and they will help design those tools that enable us to work closer with the medium. And as facilitators, they will just teach other people how to use those tools so anyone can design and build the right thing. If you go over the interface, and interface doesn't need to be designed because it's going to be designed by the machine, then you're going to need to design the system. And right now, I think that we are living, um, we are leaving uh, all the big decisions on uh, how we build artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, to really, really, really smart people. But uh, they cannot do it alone. So developers cannot do it alone. And if we don't get involved now, if we don't start to shape, and if we don't bring the human side of design to the things that and the technologies that we are building now, I think we run a big risk of uh, building something that potentially can destroy us all. I think that uh, um, the, the patterns and the things that we're doing with design systems and all of that will eventually become irrelevant from, um, from a, 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 just a, a simple two-dimensional uh, user interface um, side of things. Uh, everything will be already kind of figured out. There will be such a saturation and the maturity of design systems and the patterns and everything will, everyone will be doing the same kind of things for the same reason and with the same rationale um, so that the bots and the computer will make all of the decisions for you and you just have to think about the end goal, essentially. You don't have to care about patterns and design systems, you just have to care about what is the differentiating factor of what I'm building and that connects to the meaning and also to emotion. Uh, I think that the role of the designer will uh, evolve a lot uh, on the next years and we will not recognize uh, the current patterns about being a designer. Designers are going to be lawyers, uh, philosophers, as someone already said, anthropologists, uh, even politicians, because everyone will be designing their roles and our lives into a world with more machines and more technology. Following this cue uh, about politics, I think that I wish that in 20 years, 50 years, 90 years from now, we will have designers leading uh, societies. I think that you're really uh, right. Mm -hmm. I do think that designers have the tendency to think of themselves like saviors, which is a, a problem, because then we don't do the work. Actually, we are very, 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 very little involved with the community. We are very, very, very little involved with anything that has meaning. So right now, we as designers could be contributing to open source. We could contribute mm -hmm. to uh, humanitarian causes. We can contribute with our skills, our way of thinking, our processes to solve a lot of the big things. And in 10 years, if we don't start now doing the things that we need to do in order to have an influence on politics, on healthcare, on uh, whatever it is that the, the topic that you care about and it's your purpose, then I don't think we'll be there in 10 years. So adding to that, I think uh, it will be really about meaning and uh, if you think about, and just to be a bit more uh, aggressive, um, if you, when you're in your uh, deathbed, right, you're waiting to, for someone to turn off the machines, are you going to think, oh, ah, thank God I had the opportunity to design that online betting uh, software or to design ads, right? Or will you think, thank God I had the opportunity to help improve this healthcare solution, which helped save much more, many more lives than it would be possible if I wasn't involved? Uh, I'm a software developer, not that's relevant. So my opinion is that Designers in 10 or more years will be seen 
which much, with much more respect by the society and humanity because of the uh, real big problems that are upcoming. Uh, they will get the higher pay, of course. They will come up as really important problem solvers, uh, so everyone will understand what they do and why they do things that they solve uh, society problems, uh, rather than just being closed in an application or company scope. I think we'll design as a Tom Cruise in Minority Report. I think we just drag modules here and there, interfaces will be built, and we'll just drag stuff and build new systems, and new softwares. I'm thinking about hybridization and how the actual machines are quite uh, simple compared to what will they will evolve into. And uh, I believe that creativity will not be easily equaled by machines. So I can see in a future where machines will be highly evolved, but not exactly have the souls of poets. I can imagine a designer designing both for humans and for machines. If you want, if you want to know what our role will be in 10 years, I would say uh, we should start thinking about what makes us really different today. What is our value? Because we, we, I, I've heard people saying that we're going to be politicians and lawyers and leaders. All of those people have amazing skills as well. So what are the skills that are so important that we have? Because our process can be taught. I'm teaching th this process to my clients every day, changing how engineering teams work, how lawyers work, how, how, how uh, people I work with work. So what is it? Is it creativity? Um, is it the way we look at the world? What, what is it that is really that we can identify with that's going to be make a difference in 10 years. I think uh, one of our speakers had a talk saying everyone was a designer. And I do believe that in the future, everyone will be a designer because the concept of our work is that we use a process and we use our skills and we are not really different from other people, but we, we choose to use those skills. So I don't think that's going to be a problem. Lawyers will be doing it. Uh, we probably, as designers, will need to find a way to actually facilitate other people to do that and gather the power of the community. So designers in 10 years will be using the tools that we all design today.